Going in with a different goalkeeper. Normally, number one, Tom Sire, is the goalkeeper there. But in fact, it's the giant Patrick Thomason who will start in goal this time. Galero Tala, Letink, and Marshall, the other starting players. Coach Nico Spry since 1996, taking over after the last World Championships for Thailand. The goalkeeper is number one. Vilad Noncharon, Pudi, Yanta, Fang Fu, and Hong Yu, the starting five. Their coaches, the former Brazilian Silvio Pinheiro, and uh, he has been given the task of developing the sport of futsal in Thailand over the next few years. We are at Teodoro Flora Stadium. The stadium holds around 4,000 fans. Most of the fans today, though, have made their way to Eldoro Stadium across town. And at Eldomo, they are hosting another eight teams, the other eight teams in the tournament, including Guatemala, the host nation, and Brazil. And I can tell you that the Brazilians, the world champions, have been in red-hot form. There are the referees in charge. Anthony Herzog is the chief referee in charge of this encounter. The Brazilians warming up for the second stage, though. And they recorded a mighty victory over Guatemala. Disappointment for the host nation. The score, 29-2. That's right, 29-2. So, Brazil through to the next phase, undefeated in Group A, and also going through in Group A, it was Por uh, Portugal who defeated Kazakhstan, a score there of 6-2. So those are the two teams who are through in Group A, which is all over. And we're now watching Group B, where the Netherlands will be starting with two wins behind their name already. And this is the man in goal I mentioned, Patrick Thomason. He's a veteran at 35 years of age, but look at the size of him. He barely fits into the goal. And he'll be very hard for Thailand to pass. The bench for the Netherlands, the coaching staff, led by Nico Spry. We'll get this match underway in just a few moments time. The Netherlands appearing at their fourth World Championships. In fact, they were runners up at the first World Titles when the Netherlands hosted the Championships back in 1989. And they have emerged as one of the very strong teams in the worldwide game of futsal. It's going to be Thailand to kick the ball off. As Referee Herzog looks at his watch, gives the nod, all clear, get proceedings underway, checks with the bench. Goalkeepers are both ready, and the whistle blows. So it's Thailand with the first possession of the ball. Kong Yu is the tall number 14, Yanta is number 5. It's going to be a big test for the team from Thailand, making their first appearance at the World Championships. They have lost both their opening games. Long shot, deflection off one of the Dutch defenders. And there is Patrick Thomason and 
Now the goal mouth is three metres wide by two metres high and Thomason barely leaves an opening there. He's a very big man. Fung Fu, out of play. So Thomason will clear it away. Fung Fu, number 13 for Thailand. Letink is one of the stars of this Dutch side. Biloro, number three, and number six is Tala. They pass it around across the halfway line. Tala goes back to Letink. Letink with that strapping supporting the left knee. Tomasson. Uh, interception for Thailand. That's a good move. And the shot was offline from Kongyo. Just away to the right. As the Netherlands try to force it forward. And again, they're robbed of the ball, so Thailand defending grimly. Fung Fu, number 13, will be taken by Anton Biloro, one of the survivors of the 96 team. And really, as far as 1996 is concerned, the Netherlands don't have happy memories of it. They really want to forget about that campaign. They've started afresh with a new coach appointed soon after the 96 World Championships and their performances have been very good here in Guatemala 2000. Yanta. Still going Yanta and that's a good shot from long range. From 15 metres out. And Patrick Thomason got a good feel of the ball. Let's have a look at this lethal left foot shot. And Thomason had to take it cleanly. Charge, an unhealthy charge by the player from Thailand, Pudi. So that is the first foul against Thailand. A little deflection, there was some holding going on down there. Marshall indicated he was being held, it wasn't penalised. This is the man who gave that foul away a moment ago. Pudi, Kong Yu, Pudi chipping it forward. Nice little pass forward by Fung Fu. Moes Tala will take it. He scored in the match against Egypt. In fact, quite a few of the Dutch players have got their names onto the score sheet in this tournament. They have had wins over Egypt and also Uruguay. And they haven't had things easy either, which does serve them well. Oh, this is dangerous. Pudi couldn't quite control it. Well, the Netherlands giving up possession of the ball on the halfway. Pudi pouncing, but he couldn't control the ball. This is how it happened. Marshall was there trying to get it, but Pudi was the man who was first there, eventually to the keeper. Pudi goes out to the right side now. Yanta, Yanta to Fung Fu. It's going to be a tie ball over the sideline. Three minutes into this match, it's nil all. Thailand can't qualify for the second round. But they will be looking for victory here, or at least a very good performance to take home. And so far, they're making Patrick Thomason work hard. Yanta losing control. Tala. Letting will take it just beyond the halfway. Tala. Yeah, Tima is uh, now out there for the Netherlands. And once again, a foul is called this time against the Netherlands. Yanta. So the foul count one all at the moment Yanta still going Yanta nice movement forced over the sideline by Letting Yanta. well they have had a lot of the ball 
And Thailand, certainly the underdogs going into this match. The favourites, the Netherlands, unbeaten. Thailand looking for a victory. But Thailand have had quite a bit of the play in the opening four and a half minutes of this match. Tala. And out there now to Chardon. Is the number 10 for the Netherlands. Letting to to Chardon. Over the sideline. Number five is Yanta. Panawad Yanta for Thailand. The game is quite new to Thailand. They'd be very happy to have made it this far. Letting with this free kick. Oh, well, the deflection was intended there for Tale. Couldn't control it. Fast break for Thailand from the centre down to Pudi on the right side. And as we see Letting's free kick once again, it was a good intent there, but Tala just was unable to get to it. Mulmami is out there now, so to number seven, Frankfurt. Mulmami runs onto it again. Lots of changes. Laatima is number four on the far side. Clearing attempt there from Kong Yo. Frankfurt. Laatima is the captain of this side, wearing the yellow armband. Hank Laatima, 34-year-old, one of those players who played in 96. Now there's a chance for Pudi. Pudi, nice ball. Thailand with an opportunity. Can they get the pass away? Pudi ends up putting the shot in. Well, it was trapped there by Yanta, but probably took too long with it. And ultimately, Pudi shot in desperation. Mumami. To Jardin, losing it once again. Well, Thailand, a very quick side. And Fung Fu once again on the break. They are able to make a good transition from their own half into attack and put on some scoring opportunities. So far, though, they've scored just one goal in the tournament, so finishing has been a problem, but they are a speedy team. Yanta, they'll take the ball from the side. It was off Frankfurt. Thailand putting lots of pressure on the Netherlands in the early five minutes of this match. Janta once again. They're going backwards at the moment. Pudi back to the keeper, Noncharon. Noncharon chipping the ball long. Well, it was too long and Frankfurt allowed it to go over the goal line. Thomason out to Frankfurt. The Netherlands, while they are unbeaten, they, they haven't proven themselves to be a prolific scoring side. As I mentioned before, they've worked hard for their wins. They absorbed a lot of pressure against Uruguay. It's a fine effort there, Yanta. Pudi. Pudi, little deflection, still there. Thomasen came out, big man, huge man, when you see him up there against Yanta. As we see Pudi again, I think it may have been off Frankfurt, and that caused some distress for Thomasen. The Netherlands really had a great workout against Uruguay. They led 1-0 at half-time. They got out to a 3-0 lead. Eventually, Uruguay got a goal, and the final score there, 3-1. So they had to withstand a lot of pressure, and that's good going into the second week of the tournament. Before that, they defeated Egypt five goals to three. So they've scored eight times in two matches, but that's down on the average. Conceded four goals. Free kick going to the Netherlands. Accumulated fouls now up to three for Thailand and one for the Netherlands. Yanta. Yanta again getting that break at the halfway. We've seen him do that. Pudi! Oh, into the side of the net. Thomasen, he wouldn't want to have to jump too high. He could knock himself out on the woodwork. He is such a big man. 
and we saw this time he had it covered. Pudi with the break down the right side. Tomasin got up high, but he has enormous reach. The pass astray. Biloro would take it to Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Number six, Tala. Biloro goes back to Frankfurt. Around the corner, trying to work hard to Jarden. Back to Jarden. Tala himself, Frankfurt now. Tala knocked away by Yanta. Well, the Netherlands looking menacing as they pass the ball around just outside their area. Tala. And Frankfurt on the right. So Jarden had the intent of knocking it back to the left. Pudi. Number four, who's been a busy, speedy player for Thailand. In the first seven and a half minutes of this match. And it's been a good start, really, by Thailand. They've created opportunities. They've broken away quickly from the halfway. And at the moment, they've held the Netherlands goalless, which has been a fine performance. Marshall to Frankfurt. Tala. Marshall again, controlling it well. Where can he go, though? Tries to go on the left. Now centres the ball, but it's a loose pass. Putty comes away with it. Chance for him to pass it downfield. Breaking away with Kai Gal. Takes it himself. Yanta to Putty. Yanta again. No real... advantage in playing it the way he ended up doing so. Tala. Let's ink. Marshall tries the little back pass, but he gives away possession. Here you go, Thailand. Kong Yao. The shot over the top of the goal, over the top of Thomasson. And it was a strong shot once again from Pudi on the right side. Pudi immediately goes to the substitutes bench after shooting it long. Munjaran is the man who's come on in his place, the number seven. One of the very good players in this Thailand side. Out it goes now. Good break and another good shot on goal. Prepa. Well, that was a good burst down the left side by Prepa. But the 27-year-old once again unable to pass Patrick Thomason. Thailand again winning the ball, and once they do win it, they dash downfield. And the shot again coming in from the right. The Netherlands with so much possession, 68% to 32. But it's an exciting Thailand side as they take the ball down the field, and they keep shooting it from the right side. K. Gal once again missing. Chipping it in, K. Gal. They'll keep on trying. Not really too many on target, though. Thomasson. Let's think. So much possession for the Netherlands. And when you think the Netherlands unbeaten, defeating Egypt and Uruguay, Thailand, on the end of a big loss to Egypt, it uh, really was expected to be the Netherlands doing it quite well. But here we are just about at the halfway mark of the opening period and it's still nil all, so well done Thailand. Despite conceding so much possession, holding the Netherlands out. And once again across the sideline. Coaching staff there for the Netherlands. Nico Spray, wondering when this first goal will come. Their team up. The skipper. Tala. Marshall. Marshall still going. Puts the shot into the right side of the net. Non Charon. The goalkeeper. 
in position. Didn't need to get a hand on it, as it turned out. And he really hasn't been put under too much pressure. So the Netherlands will just keep passing the ball around. It's two contrasting styles. Thailand so fast, the Netherlands so patient. The European sides, in numbers, have dominated the sport of futsal. Three of the four semi-finalists of the 1996 World Championships were from Europe. But of course, there's one team that stands out way above them. That's the team from Brazil. Good build-up once again for Thailand and Thomasen. Saving the shot on goal by Gaikal. Letink. As we see this shot from Gaikal. Thomason in the way. Talo. Talo running out of space. Yes, so three of the four teams in 96 from Europe, the semi finalists, but. They finished second, third and fourth. Of course, it was Brazil who won the championship for the third time at three attempts. But certainly with numbers, there's a lot of depth in the sport of futsal throughout Europe. Marshall losing it. And once again, Thailand raced it forward in the shot. And Kaigao was way to the right again. He's so quick once he gets the ball. But on only a couple of occasions has Patrick Thomason been pressured to make the save. Letink. Leia Tima taking his time, chipping it nicely. Tallo, the header over the top. Well, it was a lovely move down the left side. The skipper, Pascal. In fact, uh, it was Leia Tima. Leotima holding onto the ball and just chipping it over the top. Tallo was there, but he couldn't find the net. Once again, Thomason taking a loose ball for the Netherlands. Tallo again. Long ball. Noncharon. Leotima. Leotima, nice ball to Letink. A lovely work for the Netherlands. First goal of the match. Put away by Tachardin. Oh yes, that was brilliant. Lovely work by the Netherlands. From left side to right side, Latink and Tajardin was there. And he beat Noncharan. And the first goal of the match going to the Netherlands. It's come in the 12th minute. And Max Tajardin, the 29-year-old, has opened the scoring. It's 1-0 to the Netherlands. Well, they've had to work hard for it. Coming in the 12th minute. Latima. Let Inc. Tachardin was waiting for it, decided to shoot himself. And Tachardin, the man who scored the goal. His first goal of the championships. So he joins Marshall, who scored twice. Let Inc. is the main scorer scored two in the match against Uruguay and two in the match against Egypt. That's that man letting that now who put the shot in. Gives it back to the goal scorer to Chardon. Lay a team a nice ball. Tala couldn't get his head on it. Tala. Thailand find themselves a goal down. They will continue to attack, I'm sure, though. Nothing lost. Fung full shot. Thomason. Hank Laotima, captain of the team. Romani is out there. Frankfurt back to Laotima. He's the most capped player for the Netherlands. 101 internationals. This is his 102nd. A veteran of the team, at 34 years of age. What an outstanding career he's had. Mumani to Charton, back to him. And who's waiting for it? It was almost Frankfurt. Just too wide for him. Prapel, as we see that opportunity once again. And Frankfurt was just out of position.
1-0 to the Netherlands after 13 and a half minutes play. This Group B encounter at Teodoro Flores Stadium, the first time these teams have played at this second of the venues at Guatemala 2000. They've played their opening matches at El Domo, but the teams have switched around for this last big day of competition. There is the Thai coach, Silvio Pinero, Frankfurt. Romani. Just wide. Well, suddenly, with a goal lead, the Netherlands are looking a little bit more creative, a little more confident. That defensive kick finding only Beloro of the Netherlands. Romani back to Frankfurt on the halfway. They hold onto the ball a long time, the Netherlands. They don't want to give it away easily. That time, they lose it, though. Fung for... Oh, big chance, Thailand! Thailand still there! And the shot going astray, just wobbling across the goal line. Kegel had it, held onto it, tried to get his shot in, and Fung Fu finally miskicked it. They've got the corner. Hong Yao, Prepo. Well, that's bad luck for Thailand. They really did open up the defence of the Netherlands. And they had a big chance of scoring the equaliser, but they were unable to do so. They've scored just once in the championship so far. That was against Uruguay. The man who scored was Pekum. The Netherlands have now scored nine times in total, including once in this match. Romani. Frankfurt back to Romani. Biliro is waiting for it. He can go back to Frankfurt. They'll start a second time. Romani again. As I mentioned, such patience with the ball, passing it around. Nine attempts on goal for Thailand. Well, that just gives you an indication of their attacking flair. On target, 3-1, importantly for the Netherlands. That one was right on target. Down the right side again, that fast break. So the Netherlands have had all the possession, but they hold on to the ball. That's the difference. They get the ball, they hold on to it. When Thailand get the ball, they just take it down quickly and shoot it at goal. That's why the statistics read that way. Into the side of the net from Frankfurt. And he said it was off the goalkeeper. In fact, the goalkeeper, I think, has indicated that. And we're going to have a corner. To Jarden will take it. Max to Jarden, who was the man who scored the goal in the 12th minute, takes the corner. It's going to be Thailand's ball. Or is it? No, it's not. Beliro. Players warming up on the bench for Thailand. Substitution's about to be made. Mumani holding on. Free kick Netherlands to Chardon. He's got two to beat out there, and the numbers win out for Thailand. Prepul. Under four minutes to go in the first half. Thailand have done well to hold the Netherlands. The Netherlands making their fourth appearance at World Championships. So experienced at the elite level of competition. Thailand here for the first time. Third in the Asian qualifiers. And they beat Japan 8-6 in a playoff. Frankfurt needing to quickly back to Thomason who played it. Frankfurt, well, some urgency now in the Netherlands defence. As Thailand go forward again, chance for Thailand. Thomason, free kick has been given away. The foul against Netherlands. And that will give Thailand an opportunity. The man on the break was Fung Fu. And a little bit of holding going on there. 
And the foul was eventually picked up against Mumani. Pierce size the man to take it. No, he lets it go. The shot from way out at 10 metres. Yanta put it a long way over the top. And Silvio Pinero sits down disappointedly. Frankfurt. The top two teams in each group go through to the second stage of the competition. The Netherlands by their first two wins, making sure they're certain of doing that. The second team will be the winner of the game between Egypt and Uruguay. They are meeting at El Domo as we speak. Both with one win and one loss. Egypt ahead on goal difference. But it's quite si simple. The winner of that encounter goes through with the Netherlands into the second stage of the competition. Fung Fu. Fung Fu to the right. They won't die wondering. They keep putting the shots in on goal. And I think that's a good thing. Well, that's a clever pass by Laetima. Bolero, Bolero! He will take the corner through the skipper, Laetima. Number five out there now is Langenhausen. Laetima to take it. Two and a half minutes out from half time. Trying for a second before the break. Frankfurt, Beloro. Back to Frankfurt. Beloro holding things up. Vitink to Lea Timer again. At the moment, they're holding on to a one goal lead. The score coming in the 12th minute to Chichardin. Lettink. Going through the middle there. Back to Lettink. Shot on goal. Save. Little fumble from Nuncharan. Counter-attack for Thailand. As we see it once again, the build-up was quite good. They didn't really find the open space they wanted. And Lettink's shot was straight to the keeper. Leatima to Letink. Henny Letink is the man who is the danger man when they go forward. Two goals in each of the first two matches. In fact, he's the leading scorer. Two assists as well in the tournament. What good work by Leatima. Oh, the shot not quite there. Letting again. And finally, Leatima. They just didn't stop trying. And Leatima is the man who gets the reward. From close in, Leia Tima scores the second goal for the Netherlands. Well, they kept passing it around, and the Netherlands taking a 2-0 lead over Thailand in Group B. Just over a minute away from half-time. Crucial goal for the Netherlands, and that really gives them a handy buffer. Hanky van het Leia Tima. First goal of the championships, the captain of the team. Letting, holding I thought, Piersay still goes away, shot is wide. Keigao again shooting from the right side. And as we see, once again the passing around by the Netherlands, and finally it was Lea Tima who passed the keeper, Villad Moncheron. Number five is Langerhausen. Big tall man is Langenhausen, defending now though, as Piersai has it for Thailand and gives away possession with 21 seconds remaining. Letink. Lea Tima, the man who scored the goal a moment ago, he's on the far side, awaits the pass, it goes long instead, Noncharon has it. Now another quick break, down the right side, last chance. Chanta was there waiting on the left. 
I don't think he was expecting it because very rarely does the pass come over that way. It's nearly always shot down the right side and that shot on goal goes straight in from particularly Kaigal, who's been doing a lot of that running. Instead, the pass came this time. Langenhausen right on the half time. And at half time, it's the Netherlands in control, leading Thailand two goals to nil. A last round Group B encounter. And the Dutch very much the favourites going into this match. But working hard to fight off a very game team from Thailand. As we have a look at the two goals that were scored, the first one came from Tchaden. And again, we see the benefits of the Netherlands holding onto the ball, passing it around. They chipped it around between three players before Tchaden was the man who was able to slot it home from six metres. And then the second goal coming just a minute before half time. And again, they passed it around from right side to left. And then Leotima eventually was the man who was able to put it into the net. So Leotima.改正の考え方、フットサルの特徴を生かすスピーディーさを予兆しよう。それからフェアプレーを確保しよう。これについてはですね、やはり三つぐらいなポイントがあるのかと思います。で、その一つはまずハーフウェイラインを超えてゴール
自由な交代というものがより進められることになりました。今まではボールがインプレー中に自由に交代できるのはフィールドプレイヤーだけだったんですね。でこれがゴールキーパーも含められるということになりました。フットサルでは4秒ルールというものが適用されて何でもこう早く早く観客や選手を飽きさせないような速いプレーが求められてますね。でゴールキーパーの交代についてもまあボールがインプレー中にやっていいよということがあると思います。でこれはですねフィールドプレーヤーがゴールキーパーのユニフォームを着てピッチに立って5人でプレーをするもちろんそのゴールキーパーとしての資質が、まあ、能力というものが高くないんでリスクではあると思うんですけども逆に言うと攻撃的になるとこういうことがこういうプレーができるようになったということがあると思います。もう一つ、まあ、3つ目となると思いますけれどもこれまで反則を1チーム6つ重ねると。第 PK ペナルティーマークからあー壁がないゴールキーパーと1対1のーフリーキックが与えられましたでこの距離がこれまではじゴールラインから1 2ルのとこでしたしかしながらこ今年の改正でゴールラインから1 0ルのところになりました、まあ、1 0ルというとやはり、えー、そこから壁がないゴールキーパーと一対一であれば非常に得点のチャンスが生まれると思いますこれは得点のチャンスを増やすということでもあるんですけれどもやはり反則をより少なくしようと、えー、まあ、フットサルというのはサッカーのそのエッセンスをのようなゲームです、えー、反則をなるべく少なくしてフェアプレーに徹して、えー、行ってくださいと,というようなところなのかと思います<音楽>日本フサル連盟はですね、えー、本年今まで二十数年の歴史の中で初めてあの改装再編という形を取ってもらい取らせていただきまして、えー、全国の地域に、えー、の代表の理事を入れていただいてそれで各地域にまで、えー、全国展開ができるようにという組織を改編しましたその中で日本フサル連盟がこれからやらなきゃいけないこととかということが自然と出てきたわけですけどその中でやっぱり一番大事なことはリーグ戦を各地域でやっていただこうということに、えー、決めましてですね各地域にできるだけ早い時期にリーグ戦を展開していただいてそれでそのートータルの中でその上には日本を代表するリーグが将来的にできればというのが目標にですね、えー、競技性の一つはそれがあります。それからもう一つは普及ということではあのサッカーのファミリーがたくさん増えるように、えー、我々の中で、えー、いつでもどこでも誰でもという,う理念のもとにですね、えー、多くの方があサッカーを愛しそれでフツサルの愛好者になっていただいてですねサッカーファミリーを拡大していくというのが、まあ、一つの狙いであります。prevent them regardless of the result here making it through to the second stage of the tournament they lost to Uruguay 4-1 that score line and to Egypt 7-0 so second half is underway Netherlands working hard for their goals remarkable given the amount of possession they had finding scoring so difficult and that really is a feather in the cap of the Thailand defense Working from right to left in this half, aside from the Netherlands to chart. And, oh, almost back to Frankfurt. Lee and Tama. The skipper once again. Frankfurt. Long ball to Charden. To Charden. Frankfurt dashing past. To Charden will shoot himself. Keeper went down. Frankfurt couldn't quite pounce on that bouncing ball. The ball is going to be taken by the Netherlands. Some confusion down there. It's a corner, though. 
Mumani. Back to Frankfurt. Lotima. Clever work. Mumani got it out to Tichardin. Back he goes to the captain. That was a loose pass. And the captain has, the captain has a little glance over his shoulder. Disappointed to give up possession so easily. It's something that the Netherlands certainly weren't doing in the first half. Their passes were sticking, but they were taking a little while in taking the ball into their goal area. Working hard was the Thailand player out there, Mujaran. Now it's out to Samrafan. Samrafan still going. Namunjaran back to Samrafan. Samrafan can't quite get it to the right side. Goes to the left. Polasa is the skipper. Didn't see much of him in the first half. Almost the opportunity there created by Samrafan. The ball was sent in by Mujaran. And Samrafan was there. Wasn't able to get a touch. Still there. Goalkeeper goes down, Thomasan. Such a big man, hard to pass, but interesting to see him having to dive for them because he has to go down a very long way. Leotima out to the right side to Jarden. Frankfurt back to Tajarden. They will work hard, they will pass the ball around, they will eat up valuable seconds. Long way to go in this match, but that's just the nature of their game. Keep the ball off the opposition, pass it around and try to find an opportunity ultimately to have a shot at the goals. Munani, Frankfurt. Leotima, Frankfurt holds it up, tries to pass it to Leotima, but they lose it. Quick break there for Thailand. And Jaren's pass to the left side, intercepted. They will take the corner. Palasa, short, into the side. Thomasson was waiting for it, the 35-year-old goalkeeper for the Netherlands. Tom Sia will probably be in goal for the later matches of the tournament, but this is an opportunity for Nico Spry to use his other players to Jarden. In goes the shot, Biloro! So close! My word, what a shot that was from the right side. Anton Bilero was pouncing on it. It hit the woodwork. Thailand trying to work it forward again. They were so quick in the first half. On the counter-attack, they had very fast legs. And forcing solid defence by the Netherlands but the shots weren't on target that was the problem be a goal kick taken by Nonchiron he comes number three passes nicely Safrafen oh, Thomasson oh, so fast was Peekham having given the pass away kept going down the, for the field and almost had a chance again. The speed in the legs of the players from Thailand and the good save by Thomasson. Biloro. Tajardin has spent a lot of time out there right throughout the match. Umani, Biloro, so too has Frankfurt. against Thailand. So, the first of their fouls of the second half. Neither side really found themselves in foul trouble in the first half. Biloro. Got to Jarden with him, and on the other side, he had... Mulmani. 
Another corner from that side. Frankfurt, as we see this play once again, Mormani's shot was saved well by Montserrat. Deloro. This is a chance for Frankfurt. Frankfurt's still going. Has to beat the keeper, but he's there. non shut on. A lot of holding going on out there now. Two on one. The trip. The foul against the Netherlands. Foul count one all. Four and a half minutes into the second half. Njaron. Njaron's still going. Over the top of Tajardin. Back in the direction of Munjaran, but chance now for Biloro. Frankfurt. Tajardin is the man who scored the first goal of the match. He scored in the 12th minute. Romani. Out of play. Seventy-three percent possession, so it's just growing all the time. Thailand just twenty-seven percent. Pekum. Now the chance around the corner. Some Rafi couldn't control it. Couldn't get a clean shot in. The players from the Netherlands much taller, much bigger than those from Thailand, but they're very speedy, the Thai players. It's a feature of their game. Some Rafan. And Jaren got it back over the far side. Down goes Pekum. Substitutions being made on the bench for the Netherlands. About to have a chance is Laotina, the veteran captain. There he is now with the ball. Letting. The Netherlands know what this level of futsal is all about. Of course, they hosted the first World Championships 11 years ago. How the sport of futsal has grown throughout the world since then. The Netherlands were the runners-up to Brazil at the first World Championships, played again in Hong Kong in 1992. Again in 96 when they had a disappointing finish to the championships. And here they are in 2000, a major force. Some Rafan. Munjaran. Munjaran. Well, Pekum was advancing. The last pass went astray. Let's have a look again. Pekum wasn't far away, but instead it found Letting. Leotima to Letting. Letting again, yes! A deflection off a Thai defender and ultimately past the keeper. And Letting scores the goal for the Netherlands. Letting has scored now in all three matches. There he is, the pass from Marshall back to Letting. Beat one keeper, one defender, then the keeper may have taken a deflection along the way but Henny Lettink putting a strong shot in and the Netherlands three leading Thailand nil Henny Lettink now five goals in the championships Van Rafen well Lettink went into this uh, round of matches as the leading goal scorer but I can tell you that's changed. Laatima, Laatima. It was blocked and sent out. It has changed today because Brazil have recorded a huge win over Guatemala. As we see Laatima's shot once again. Brazil defeated Guatemala 29 goals to two. An amazing scoreline. And Manuel Tobias scored six times. In fact, ten of the Brazilian players ended up scoring. 
what an amazing performance by the world champions because Guatemala, you may recall, had a very good performance against Kazakhstan. They won their last match. That is the action at El Dolmo. At the moment, we are at Teodora Flores. Into the second half of this match, it was 2-0 at half-time. It's now 3-0 thanks to Henny Lehink. Marshall is the man who goes down with the assist. Shot, hopefully, by the skipper for Thailand, Polasa. Thailand are learning to play the game of futsal. They've done very well to reach the World Championship Finals. They finished third in the Asian qualifying division, beating Japan in the playoff for third. Lost their semi-final to Iran. So the teams from Asia, and they are being spread around quite a bit, Iran, China and Malaysia were the finalists in 96. And Iran is the only team that's back here this time. Now, Layatima from the corner. Layatima. Tala is there, so too Letting who takes it. And now it'll be taken once again for the Netherlands. Letting waiting from Layatima. There's Letting, and waiting for it was Tala. Says, well, that was close. Frustrated at missing it. Just couldn't quite find the ball. Kenny Lettink. Laetima. Now that's a bad pass. Thailand a big chance down the right side. Now they get a goal. Oh, what a lovely movement. What a goal for Thailand. It's scored by the skipper. The pass came in from Sonrafan. And Palasa was the man who was able to put it into the net. Beautiful movement of the ball. Sumrafan and Palasa was the man who converted. There was the pass. The keeper going from left to right. And at the other end, a good save. Non Charon. It's 3-1 to the Netherlands. So, a good response. And there's another one. Goal number four for the Netherlands. Tuller is the man who has scored it. A very quick reply. It was back to 3-1. Now it's 4-1. Tuller scoring just a matter of 30 seconds after Polasa score for Thailand. Tuller, the scorer. He scored against Egypt, and now he scores again. The Netherlands 4-1 over Thailand. Both goals coming in the 28th minute. It so often happens. One team scores, and then as they're still full of jubilation, they lose concentration for a moment. The quick counter-attack, and there's a goal at the other end. It's happened here, it happened in the earlier match as well between Kazakhstan and Portugal. Tomasin, poor clearance. Another chance for Thailand. Working hard to chart and takes the ball away for the Netherlands. Frankfurt, little deflection, Bellora to chart and Frankfurt, no, into the side of the net. Good build up. And the pace has picked up again. Thailand scoring and taking a foul here. A foul against Tachardin. So they will take the free kick, the Thai players. Second foul against the Netherlands in this half. And Thailand have registered just one so far. <laughs> Scoreline 4-1 to the Netherlands over Thailand. Free kick taken. Palasso into Bomani. So the ball to be taken from the side. 
And Thailand will try to build up once again. Good block there by Tachardin. Noncharon. Over the head of Mulmani. The Netherlands have already made sure of their passage through to the second phase of the tournament. With their early wins over Egypt and also Uruguay. Give the impression though they're not the sort of team to put others away. Thailand's attack once again. Pong goal. Deflection. Uh, Patrick Thomasson knows that he has to be right on his toes now because Thailand mounting the pressure. They trail by three goals. Way over the top. 14-13, the attempts on goal. And given the fact that the possession is very much in the Netherlands' favour, around 70% to 30%, it's a matter of making the most of your opportunities as far as Thailand's concerned. Biloro. Omani back to Biloro. Once again, cleared away. Frankfurt blocking. Palasso. Thailand on the attack again. If he can get the pass to Palasso. Yes, he can. Palasso stopped by Tomasen. Thai player is down, Fung Fu, holding that left leg of his. May have got an accidental kick. Yes, indeed he did. And there was the desperate save by Thomasen. Fung Fu has been a good player for Thailand, speedy player. And he is assisted from the, the pitch. He will receive some treatment. Let's hope he is OK to continue because he is an important member of this Thailand team. And that's how it happened. Pudi comes on to replace him. And he showed us his speed in the first half. The possession is back with, tile, with uh, the Netherlands. Frankfurt to Biloro. Inside the last 10 minutes of this match. To Chardin. Pass going astray. Thailand on the attack again. But a clever takeaway by To Chardin. Still going to Chardin. Good save by the keeper. Pressure applied. Counter attack now. Thailand. Kong Yu. And now it's going back to the other end, Frankfurt, to chart and deep, and can't take control of it. Well, quick transference of play from both sides. Polasa. The man who scored the goal for Thailand. And they've had only two occasions to celebrate goals in the championships. Once against Uruguay. And now once in this match against the Netherlands. Both times there, their opponents have scored more to Chardin. Biloro waits for it. Frankfurt on the left, though. Can go all the way across to Biloro. That's what he does now. Deflection out of play, taken by Frankfurt. Biloro. opponent and slotted it almost from the sideline. Beloro scores his first goal. It's 5-1. The Netherlands over Thailand. Look at this goal. How did he turn around and get it past the keeper? So deep. An amazing strike. And Anton Beloro gets his first goal of not only this match, but indeed, of the championships. That was a lovely goal. Anton Beloro. 
Something of a veteran of this side. He goes off to celebrate now. 31-year-old who played in the 96 championships. And he scores a goal to remember. Leotima comes on. So too does Letink. Letink to Marshall. Out to Leotima. Letting again. Leotima making good space. Now they slow it down. Leotima goes back to Tala. Tala still going. Onto his left. Kicks with the right. Bolasa takes it away for Thailand. Fast pass to Pudi who can't control. Letting. Leotima. The Netherlands really have just ground out their lead. With seven and a half minutes remaining in the match. And gradually they've been able to work their way into scoring positions through patience as much as anything. Good considered build-ups. Most of the goals coming from a fine interchange of passes. And they've been able to score five times to one. I think that is the difference with Thailand just not able to get the ball. The fast breaks have been impressive. They've been exciting, but they haven't passed the ball so much. They've relied on the fast break and then the quick-fire shot. Leotima. Leotima does well. Marshall. They lose the ball this time, though. Kongyo. Palaso back to Kongyo. Prepa. Deep is Pudi. Still there. Could be a goal. Thomason got in the way. It wasn't a real save. He simply picked himself off the floor. Tala at the other end. A goal. Letting. Tala the assist. And letting the goal. And coach Nico Stray is a very happy man with that effort. It was a quick transference from one end to the other, and it ended up with goal number six. Tallow was the man who gave it to Letting. There's the Tallow running onto it, controlling. And Henny Letting said thank you. And once again, he scores a double. 6-1 to Thailand. Rather, 6-1 the Netherlands over Thailand. This is the most goals that the Netherlands have been able to score in the championship so far. Five against Egypt, three against Uruguay. Henny Net Letting has scored two in each of the games. So six goals for the championships. And yet having said that, it's the number five, Pasquale Langenhausen, who is the top goal scorer in the Dutch competition. Langenhausen hasn't seen much of the play. Tala lost the ball that time. Once again, Thailand trying to go forward quickly. Lea Tima. Now it goes out to the man who has scored twice. Marshall Young. Dear, oh dear. He wasn't far away. Just missing to the right. And the shots are starting to come thick and fast. Rene Marshall. Again, he has scored in both the early matches. Not too far off scoring again. Thailand bring it down quickly. Marshall takes it back. Letting. He's got Tala. Out to Letting. Wasn't a good pass. A speedy attack from the Netherlands. The last pass going astray. The Netherlands will finish on top of Group B. And that will give them a good draw going into the second round. They may score again here. Marshall Letting under pressure from Yanta. So they'll 
be well pleased finishing on top of their pool. Free kick to be taken. Just two fouls each so far in this half. It's been a good clean game, five minutes remaining. Leotima. Leotima off to Marshall. It was intended back for Leotima, but Thailand with a chance as they quickly take it down. Leotima in the right spot takes possession. Back to Letting, who slows it right down. Leotima, Tala is waiting for it. What a good pass. Not a very good pass at all. A slight lapse in concentration and taken by Pekong. Kongyo, back to Pekong. Great pass. Now he goes back to Yanta. And trying to force the ball on in the direction of the goal. Pekong, way off target. Marshall, Let Inc. was drifting down on the inside. Thailand with another chance. The pass wasn't straight. Free come again. Still with it. Goalkeeper was there. Very hard to pass a goal with that big man in it. Marshall just missing to the left. Leia Tima giving the ball off to Marshall. There was Leia Tima onto the outside. Unable to make the most of the chance. Leotima again. Any Letting has scored twice in all three matches. Perhaps this time he can make it a hat trick. Thailand for a corner. It'll be taken by Yanta. The youngest member of this team at 21. Shot not causing any problems by PSI. Silvio Paniro, the coach of the Thailand team. The game in Thailand is quite young. Most of these players play outdoor football. And Silvio Paniro has been recruited from Brazil to try to develop the game in that country. The best player in terms of outdoor soccer is Tutsa, and he's not here, so that doesn't help Thailand's cause at all. But hopefully, in that country, the game will become specialised because the leading teams have specialists at indoor futsal. To Chardin. To Chardin, still going. Yes, works away from one, beats a second, and it gives the ball up to Momani. Now Beloro. Frankfurt. To Chardin calls for it. Yes, through to Jordan. Goalkeeper got a hand on it. Nuncharan. This was clever work by to Jordan. It was good control of the ball. Decided to shoot it himself. Frankfurt. Now to Beloro. Mulmani. To Jordan again. Nice for pass. Mulmani. Good save by Nuncharan. Read it well. Shifting the ball from the right side across to the left, but the goalkeeper had it covered. Foul called on Peacom. Third foul for Thailand. Only two against the Netherlands. With under two and a half minutes remaining. To Chardin. It's always the man who holds it up at that target spot. The pivot. Biloro. to Chardon, down the left side, he tries to work his way around, still going to Chardon, clever work, the shot came in, oh, Frankfurt almost, they beat the keeper, but back there helping out, PSI. So close again for the Netherlands, who led 2-0 at half-time, they've scored through Letting, Tala, Beloro and Letting again, 
in this four goal second half. Deloro. Here's one of the goal scorers, Deloro. So is this man, to Tachardin to Chardon around the corner into Peacom. Just trying to hold on the Thailand players at the moment because it's one attack after the other being mounted by the Netherlands. Mani, who will take it from the side. We're at Teodoro Flores Stadium. The last day of first round action. Uh, this is the last first round match for both Thailand and the Netherlands. Thailand look as if they're going to finish their first World Cup champ World Championship campaign without victory. The Netherlands will go in with three wins into the second round. Good strike over the top though from Yanta. I think Thailand will learn a lot about the game of futsal from Silvio Pinero over the next few years. Ron Sim is in goal now for the Netherlands. A late change being made, taking the place of Patrick Pomarsen, who has done a pretty good job allowing only one goal passed in. Thailand with it for Prepont once again. PSI. PSI still going. Frankfurt. PSI to take it from the side. Inside the last minute now. PSI. Prepont still with the ball. Now he feeds the pass away. Yanta on the side. Almost up on the halfway. Tries to pass Biloro. Biloro knows the ball's about to go out and lets it roll across the line, using his body well. So Biloro takes it from the side. And behind the play, second referee has blown his whistle. At the other end, has a little talk to Precom. Oh, yes. Well, Tajardin saw Mulmani by himself. It was a clever flick on. Mulmani was unchecked and could have advanced on the goal, but it was a little wide. Biloro will tidy up at the other end. 30 seconds remaining. The Netherlands leading Thailand 6-1. And once again, the whistle... And that was the little altercation that was taking place a moment ago. The free kick has been picked out. It will go Thailand's way. And once again, Peacom is the man in the firing line of the referee. Nicole Spray looking on as Frankfurt will take the free kick. Three accumulated fouls against Thailand now. Three also against the Netherlands. The wall in place. Frankfurt and Biloro, and also out there, Mulmani. Biloro, they had to wait. Ball found the back of the net, but it was way after the whistle. They will take it a second time. Silvio Pinero showing some consternation on the tie bench. Frankfurt, and Thailand will bring it back quickly. Kraper, down the field. Will he have a shot? Yes, he does, but it was off a Dutch defender, taken away by the keeper, almost into the net, the quick clearance downfield, and Tajardin got his head to it. Close to the sideline, it was still in play. Biloro. Just a fraction of a second remaining as the whistle blows. And the last possession will go the way of the Netherlands. A long ball way up the field. And the clock didn't restart. Now it's half, It's uh, full time. Ball over. And a convincing victory to the Netherlands. They make it three victories in a row. First of all, they beat Egypt. Then they beat Uruguay. And today, here at Teodoro Florence Stadium, they have recorded a 6-1 victory over Thailand. The 
Final score, the Netherlands six, Thailand one. A game performance by Thailand. But the Netherlands side, far too experienced, far too powerful. Thank <laughs> you. 